good to see you tonight, Coach. Congratulations on the win. Um, this is the farthest that Indy 11 has ever made it in the United States Open Cup. So as in your first year as gaffer, um, what does that say about your team and your strategy moving forward? I think first it, it says a lot about the squad. You know, we, um, we set some goals at the start of the season and we wanted to do really well in this competition. Um, and now we've got another opportunity in, in the next round uh, to play against the team that beat an MLS team. So that's going to be a tough match for us. But, you know, once you um, start thinking about, you know, each take each game as it comes, eventually you find yourself in a really good position. So we'll, we'll just get on to the next round and see what brings us after that. Yeah, you mentioned, Coach, Yeah, you're facing a Detroit City squad that took down the Houston Dynamo and MLS squad uh, last night. Um, what do you need to do to prepare for a team uh, when they come to town like that? You know, we've got to make sure that we approach it the same way we did tonight in terms of, you know, it's it's a one game and it's one only. And I thought our start tonight was absolutely fantastic, you know, and we had a lot of chances. We scored the goals and then, like a cup tie, you know, it, in the second half, we had to do a lot of defending because the opposition came back at us. And I'm really pleased that first half played really well in in the attacking moments. And then the second half, we did really well defensively and kept a clean sheet. Yeah, there was a great job by Hunter tonight, uh, keeping the clean sheet off. He was challenged and tested there in the second half. Um, what does uh, squad rotation look like? I asked some of the other guys about some of their recovery habits. But how do you uh, manage your squad rotation with congestion of uh, fixtures as we move through the regular season? It's interesting because people look at that as if you have to change for the full game. You know, we've we've done it now for the last two games where we've changed in, in games. You know, so our, our plan was to take the two lads off, the centre forwards off on 60 minutes. That changed a little bit because Eunice went on. You know, our plan was to, to get him on early in the second half. Then he had to come off. So. Other players did get minutes, but it was always going to be that we would manage these three games in a week by, you know, resting a few players during the game. So, you know, giving them a 60 minutes, 30 minutes, and we'll, we'll maybe change a few things around at the weekend. But, you know, the, the spanner in the works, so to speak, was Eunice going on and getting his contact lens knocked out and then not being able to see. But he was really good as a right winger when he couldn't see. I thought he was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, great match tonight. Um, I know the last few weeks uh, here in the Circle City have been a little eventful off the pitch. Um, how do you keep your staff and your team focused with, on the uh, task at hand here in this tournament and also in the regular season? Well, we've got full belief in everything that the club wants to do. And, you know, we obviously got that news a couple of weeks ago and we got assured, you know, by everyone here that this, this, this is a club has got some good history to it, good, good people in it across all departments of the club and a really strong owner and, you know, and all the front office staff are, are, are fighting to, to get what we want to get. And, you know, so we have no problem in turning up every week and doing our jobs, which obviously, you know, is something for the supporters. We want to give them something to cheer about because sometimes with uncertainty, the one thing that you can be sure of is when you get a win, everybody walks away happy. Yeah, you'll, you'll definitely have the uh, Brickard Battalion behind your back um, in a couple of weeks when uh, Detroit City uh, FC comes into town. You'll be hosting here on the 21st and the 22nd. What does that mean to uh, host a uh, cup round of 16 game? Right, really good and we're looking forward to it. If it's never de been done before, um, didn't really know that, but if it hasn't, then we'll look forward to it. We'll look forward to a good atmosphere. And then I know that if you can get through that, you're in the quarterfinals. Great. And then you're three games from lifting a tro trophy. But you've got to take care of the next one. Wonderful. Coach. Speaking of supporters, Sean, you know, different environment tonight, different ground, but what did you think of them? Um, they were outstanding and they always are. They pick a spot. We know where they are. They, they, they cheer and, and, you know, help us get over the line. And, and we're really, we're really pleased with what we've got with our supporters. You know, that's, we've had some games where we've been really good and then some games where in the same game we've not been as good. But one thing that's always been a constant is the, is the supporters and their performance has always been probably of a really, really high standard. Uh, and we get the benefit of that. Um, I think Hunter's second touch tonight came in like the 26th or 7th minute. What were you thinking after that, that first 25 minutes when he came out in a blitz? I think that's the start that we wanted. Um, so I was really, really pleased. Uh, I, th I thought 2 0, you always want to try and get a third one, you know, because, you know, it's, you just want to keep going and keep going. The, the opposition, to be fair, it caught them cold a little bit. Um, but they've got a lot of injuries in their squad, so I'm not taking, you know, too many things as in, you know, how, how well we did for granted, you know, we did really well and we would have probably scored goals against any opponent.
But I want to give them credit because in the second half they did come back. And for me, the performance in the first half with the ball was really, really good. And then the performance in the second half without the ball was really, really good. So I've got two halves of like a really positive performance. And that's something that we're trying to achieve in, in terms of a full 90 minute performance. And I thought we were really good. Yeah, especially that second half, keeping, keeping the zero on the board. That's two clean sheets in the cup now. How happy were you with the defensive performance? Yeah, really, really happy. And, and, and like I said, you know, Eunice went on, then have to come off again. Uh, Joshua Brown switched from his central position into a wider position. Max Schneider came on as a midfield player, usually and played in the back three. Uh, and then I, I will make some reference to Diz Pay and, and Ben Afemu and Aidan Stanley. Who, that's again them 90 minutes, you know, plus in the two games. Uh, but we just must have some recovery juice or whatever it is they have to take and, <laughs> and roll them out again because uh, their performances have been really good and, and we, we rely on them a lot alongside what again, Hunter has been uh, immense for us. Uh, you've got a couple games before it, but I want to talk to you about Detroit a little bit. Um, it, I, it was definitely a bad taste in the mouth after that one, um, kind of the way it, we, we lost it late. Um, are you happy you get the chance for revenge? Are there any other feelings kind of about it? I think I'm just, you know, pleased that they did the league, you know, good service in terms of going down to Houston, because it's not, no matter what team they play, it's not a hard place to go and play. Uh, and I thought they, they were good as well, you know, that's, that's the other thing. And Houston played a, a strong enough team. What you would have thought, you know, would have been enough to get them through, but it just shows you how strong Detroit are in terms of their mentality and, and the way they approach the game. So we know that it's going to be a tough game. It would have been a tough game who we face. Uh, but now we do face somebody in our own league who we're probably a little bit more familiar with. Um, we're at home. We've got the supporters. Uh, and I think we're going to try and go for it again and put out a team that, that tries to get us into that, you know, quarterfinals. Anything else you want to add? Thank you very much for everything. Going to get some of that recovery juice and get back on the uh, field tomorrow.